Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a new video and today I have for you a full PS4 jailbreak guide specifically on firmware 9.00. So this is going to be exciting. I'll be showing you step by step on how to get your PS4 jailbroken and start running homebrews right away. Now, some of the reasons why you would want to jailbreak your PS4 is that you're going to be able to obviously run all sorts of homebrew and unlock the vast potential of your PS4. So here is a small list of what is to come when you jailbreak your ps4 so you have the ability to store your disc games on your hard drive uh, you can run homebrew uh, use various game mods you can have ps2 psp ps1 sega saturn support retro emulation and so much more now the things that i guess the cons of exploiting your ps4 is that you won't be able to play some of the newer games that require a higher firmware so you're going to be out of luck on those newer releases coming to the ps5 and also coming to the ps4 which is awesome but still kind of take a look at that if you are interested in getting the newer games uh, just keep that in mind that you will not be able to use anything higher you also cannot use the playstation network services so you will not be able to log in and do anything with that and i would advise anyone jailbreaking their system to always have your account signed out or use a dummy account if you're trying to sync trophies but we can talk about that in another video but once you're jailbreaking your system and you're running the jailbreak on your console please do not sign into your account do not use your account because you have a high extremely high potential and almost certain potential of getting your account banned so please please keep that in mind now there's gonna be three things we'll need for this jailbreak the first one obviously is gonna be a ps4 on firmware 9.00 unfortunately if you're anything above that you won't be able to jailbreak it and you will have to wait until a new jailbreak is available for that firmware if you are lower than 9.00 you can go ahead and update to 9.00 uh, using the guide listed in the description down below to properly update your firmware to 9.00 there's gonna be full guide step by step on how to do that it's fairly easy just go through it and you'll be good to go second thing we'll need is a usb stick you don't have to have anything larger than like a one gigabyte uh, but this is going to be dedicated for your PS4, so keep that in mind. You won't be able to basically use that for anything else. I would strictly only use this for the PS4 jailbreak. And the third thing we'll need is internet. So you will have to connect to the internet somehow uh, via Wi-Fi on your PS4. Before you connect your PS4 to the internet, make sure that under automatic downloads, everything here is deselected. You don't want to accidentally download the latest firmware and accidentally update your system and that you're just going to be doomed if you do that so uh, under your settings through system and automatic downloads deselect everything here and you should be good to go all right so i'll be showing you guys my system information and show you the firmware here under system system information and system software 9.00 perfect so the first thing we're going to be doing is preparing our magic usb stick specifically made for our ps4 the first link in the description will download the xfathacks.img file very good the second link will have the win32 disk imager so go ahead and download this one now for the disk imager, we're going to right click and extract the files. If you haven't already installed an extracting program, I recommend using 7-zip. It's very easy to install and use. That link will be in the description down below as well. So right click and extract files. Let's hit OK. Perfect. There it is. And we will install the disk imager. Perfect. So we will launch our WinDisk imager. We'll close that out and here it is. Next, we're going to be selecting our image file and click on the blue button here. So select the image file that we just downloaded, the exfathacks.img. You can double click on that. 
and there it is good to go and next we will have to select our device so plug in your usb stick that you're going to be using specifically for your ps4 so i'm going to be connecting it here and let's see this is going to be usb drive d and you don't have to format your usb stick uh, this disk imager is going to do that for us so there's no need to do that and there's our device d perfect now at the bottom let's write Writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Hit yes. And our write is successful. Perfect. All right. Once that's done, our USB stick is ready to go. So we're going to head back to our PS4. Perfect. And we're going to be going to the internet browser. So let's open that up. We're not going to be connecting our USB device to our PS4 just yet. So just hold on to that until we get to that step and up in the URL bar here right right there we're going to be going to the URL listed in the description down below so in the URL we're going to be typing the following the cthugha.exploit.menu backslash so I'll have this specifically in the description so you can type that manually into your URL. And we're going to hit R2 or go. And you, we will see a loading screen. Very nice. Now in the categories, we're going to be selecting the PS4 with the version 9.00. Select that. We're going to be selecting gold hand. So it says there's not enough free system memory. Perfect. Now it's giving us this message saying insert USB now. Do not close the dialog until notification pops. Remove USB after closing it. So now it's time to insert our magic USB stick into the PS4. All right, so we're not going to touch anything. And there is our new message. This USB storage device, device's file system is not supported, which is just fine. Now we can click the OK button. And we just jailbroke our PS4. How awesome is that? So we're all set. Once you have that, you can safely remove your USB stick from your ps4 perfect so now how we can verify that we have gold hen installed is going to our settings and now you'll see a new option at the very top saying gold hen with two stars and the gold icon and we can enable an ftp server we have package installer and about very awesome and we are good to go so here's where you're going to install your packages. Very nice. Now, if you want to learn a lot more about Gold Hen, uh, what we just installed, go under About and About Gold Hen. You'll see a list of features and change logs of Gold Hen. So now that we have Gold Hen fully installed, please be aware that this is a tethered jailbreak. So if you do restart your system or if you power it off you will have to go through the process that we just did to re-enable gold hen and use any homebrews that you have installed on your ps4 so now we're going to be talking about disabling updates on our ps4 so this is a another protection layer for our ps4 where we can disable any sort of updates from sony so go to our internet browser here you want to open up this url so it's caro 218.ir and in here we want to find our 9.00 gold and you can actually use this to also uh, inject the 9.00 uh, payload into your ps4 so go into the 9.00 gold and we're going to select the disable updates 
right here. So select that. It says cannot load payload because the bin loader server is not running. Perfect. So what we have to do is go back into our settings, go under gold hen. And here we want to enable the bin loader server. Perfect. So let's go back into the internet browser and reload this. There we go. So let's disable our updates here, pressing X and the payload received from 127.0.0.1, I believe. Disabled updates, perfect. So we are good to go there. And you can also have control to your fan, which is pretty cool. So payload received 127.0.0.1. Perfect, now I will be restarting my PS4 so I can show you guys how to re-enable the jailbreak. So let's restart our PS4 here. All right, the PS4 is fully restarted. Let's enter. One sec for the Elgato to read, there we go. And let's check our settings. So we do not see the gold hen at the top. That's just fine. Let's go into our internet browser. And for some reason, my Elgato is acting up here. All right, insert USB now. The USB, this USB storage device's file system is unsupported. Let's hit OK. Hit OK. All right, so we're all set. Now, I had an issue here where uh, I wasn't able to actually uh, go through 9.00, the option in the exploit dot menu or the menu where it shows you all the different firmwares. And the reason is when I went to 9.00, I accidentally hit auto enable. And what that does is it will always go to the 9.00 gold hen inject or whatever. And all you have to do is just insert your USB at that point and you're good to go. So it auto did it for me. I really want to show you guys specifically how to do that. But you could just go back into the video here and you'll see uh, the 9.00. Hit that and you'll be good to go. So we now have our gold hen enabled. We're all set. Perfect. And one way to keep your PS4 like this with Gold Hen and you don't have to really mess with going back into that page is going under your power save settings, right? And here we can set our features into rest mode and we want to keep our application suspended. So if you enter the PS4 into rest mode, you won't lose the gold hen jailbreak so this will be great you don't want to stay connected to the internet just to be safe just make sure that the keep application suspended is activated and you're good to go and you should now continue to use your gold hen on your ps4 no problem so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you have any questions whatsoever please comment down below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.